Hey friends, welcome to Wednesday, February 16th. It is the full moon Leo uh, today, so I think we'll try and get a couple messages around uh, that today. The full moon in Leo. I'm sure you guys have heard all about it by now. Um, full moon in Leo. Leo is the sun. Sun is our ego, our identity. And um, Leo wants to be seen. Um, so this is a time for tapping into creativity, uh, expression, um, leaning into doing things and expressing yourself in ways that makes you feel real, makes you feel authentic, that makes you feel like you're embodying your purpose somehow. Um, if you watched yesterday's reading, then you'll know that there's also like potential for clashing of egos. There's, um, there's just so much potential in this week f in regards to creativity, spirituality, um, leadership also. Uh, so yeah, a lot of that stuff going on. Let's get a few messages today around that specifically for anybody who is watching. Messages for anybody who is watching. Wandering path, enjoy the journey, taking shelter, the answers are within, and rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Yeah. So if you've been seeking the freedom of um, your true expression externally, as in waiting for somebody else to allow you to um, do a certain thing or behave a certain way or finally step into like your joy. Um, it's saying here the answers are within, taking shelter. Um, when the world is too bright or like when we see somebody doing the things that we want to be doing, the reason we like um, and the reason that there are heroes, right? The reason that we like heroes in storytelling is usually we see something in them that we ourselves are either capable of or want to follow in that path. That's why wandering path is here. Enjoy the journey. The way, your way of getting there is gonna be different than anybody else's. How you get there is revealed through, in this case, taking shelter. But I'm sort of like receiving the message in a way of, um, like really um, taking stock of what you have to work with. The answers are within. You have everything you need. That's the other message of Leo is like there's very powerful manifestation power if you understand and know how to use what you have. And then, yeah, rejuvenating rain. Heal, clear the past, heal the present. So there's definitely something from the past that's holding you back. Absolutely. We'll get clarifying messages about what that is. Um, and while I shuffle this deck, I will tell you that, yes, there is gaff tape on my sweater. This channel is currently unsponsored. And I was like, why am I going to be sitting up here supporting the, like, a prominent athleisure brand? I'm not. I ain't doing that. I know the value of product placement. We're not doing that. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords underneath. Cards are falling out. Uh, so this is probably having to do with this rejuvenating grain. Clear the past, heal the present. There's something that is still producing a lot of anxiety, and we're going to look into what that is. We have the Ten of Wands underneath. Yeah, lack of prioritization. Ace of Pentacles. The Emperor. Seven of Cups. Knight of Wands. Upright. The rest have been in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. The Empress. Check that out. The Emperor and the Empress. Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Excuse me. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Um, there is quite a bit of fire energy here. Um... 
there is an opportunity, again, in the present, right? The Knight of Wands is in the center. Knights are anything that's movement. And Ace of Pentacles in reverse here also in the present is telling me that there's an opportunity here that is not either being taken advantage of or we feel like was taken away. Um, and the Knight of Wands to me is the message of how are you addressing your own mentality of lack, like I don't have what it takes. I feel like sometimes what is really lacking instead of resources is our own willpower. Like that, where is the fire? Leo is saying, where is the fire? If you can't build a fire here, it's not meant for you then. Go find where there's already like a flame that's like still smoldering. Maybe it's something from the past. It says clear the past, heal the present. Interesting. I'm having like a lot of visuals around like how to build a fire. So if you've ever had like a really massive bonfire and then the next and you've put it out, but the next night it's like still smoldering. Like, so there could be a couple messages there around like clearing, clear that fire, let that go out, totally extinguish it before creating something totally new. Like if you feel like you have to totally switch paths, this wandering path is like taking you somewhere else. Another message could be that um, you're, you're not utilizing those smoldering embers still to build something else. Like maybe you're not acknowledging that this thing is still here. The f like if you just threw some fresh wood on it, some new inspiration, then it would relight. And then you could sort of keep going. So that's what I'm getting here. I don't know what this nervousness is about, this Nine of Swords. Um, is like a very anxious sort of energy, probably because like it's like we don't know where we're going. There's definitely a need to um, reprioritize or something um, where you're putting your efforts. And I feel like the way the way that it's showing me that is in a way that is not organized, like an unorganized. Sorry. An organized chaos <laughs> is what I'm getting. Like it's okay for it to be messy because what you're following is like your own either intuition or your own um, sort of flame, inner flame. And so if you're following that feeling, then you can get a lot of momentum. Um, and I feel like it'll just be an endeavor that can um, go far because it's already self-motivated. When we experience, have experiences like can never show up on time, can't, can't, do, can't seem to like do the thing on time or to some standard, right? I'm, I don't know why I'm thinking about school right now, but like when you're always late to class or can never t seem to turn in the assignments on time or do as well, it's like, that's a clear sign that whatever subject you're learning um, there in that class is probably not for you. You know, it's a, maybe it's a prerequisite, but it's not. Um, it's not your major, right? Whatever you're choosing as your major in life um, has to have that I want to learn, right? I want to learn. So what else is here? Um, if you've begun this this um, this process of dismantling, you know, potentially a lot of responsibilities and sort of like clearing the path, right, clearing the sticks from this like half smoldering fire, if you will, you're doing that to get to the root of what is actually fueling this fire, because the desire here is to grow. We have the Empress here, the Divine Feminine, and the Emperor actually at, qu at quite opposite ends. And so I do feel like this is the time for the emperor to take a break. Emperor representing divine masculine, yang, and for the feminine to, to come and to simply uh, receive. Allow things to be. Be in your true nature. And don't fight or resist your true nature. That is, come, that is allowing you to come out of some confusion here about whatever it is you feel like maybe your purpose is supposed to be. So come out of confusion, embrace your true nature. There's an opportunity here that feels lost, but is not really lost, is simply requiring your, um, it's requiring your passion, 
your inspiration. So if you're lacking inspiration right now, I think it, you need to ask yourself why you feel like you don't have the resources to be inspired. Or you can ask for inspiration or you can ask for um, whatever it is you feel like you need to address this Nine of Swords, this anxiety that is um, being addressed ultimately. It's like not a, it's, a, it's not a clear thing. So like whenever, it's not a clear path. The wandering path is here. So whenever we feel like we, we dip below the line and we feel like we're going backwards, that's the time to take shelter. That's the time to go within and know that you are your own solid structure. Because I feel like there's definitely going to be times while this is being cleared out, whatever this thing in the past is, while that's being cleared, there will be times of dipping below that line where um, the structures you've built for yourself, whether it's like good routines, healthy habits, whatever it is that you're doing, they're not gonna work all the time. And sometimes you have to go back to this again, unorganized chaos that is life and learn to trust yourself that you will catch yourself when things start to um, stagnate, I guess. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? The Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands are, and the Emperor all in reverse here under this rejuvenating reign. There's definitely, um, you know, some challenges coming up, but I feel like what is required is your is trust. Trust that you've got your own back here. Let's just get some clarifying advice for next steps. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so if there's, um, this is a huge theme this week, isn't it? There was like desire, fire and water, fire and water. We've got like a Leo moon is like really fiery and it's really asking us to step into our like joyful state and to like be happy and um, embrace sort of like that childlike joy and to really step into ourselves, like our, our innate selves. So like who we are. What I'm seeing here is an influx of emotion. Like if you're allowing yourself to get emotional about things, um, that is the crossroads. Now, then you've started to depart from what this Leo moon is really wanting you to do. Um, so you have to think about this a lot, about why this is happening and how you can recommit to the idea that, yes, I want to step into my happiness. Yes, I want to embrace my leadership abilities. I want to embrace all the good things that are coming for me. Because um, again, it, sorry, it was the Knight of Swords, Judgment, and the King of Cups, then in reverse here. King of Cups can also be like cutting off emotions to think more logically about what the next steps might be. Um, that could be an important message for somebody else. Um, Yeah, judgment is definitely a crossroads. It's like in this wandering path, you're going to have to make a decision somehow. And spirit is saying, according to this card spread, is um, it's best to take shelter and rejuvenate, clear out the past. So maybe there's a message here of doing some sort of full moon ritual. Um, I did this last night where you write some things down on a piece of paper, all the things you're ready to let go of self-doubt, um, other people's energies that might have um, latched onto you s since the last full moon. Um, write all those things down and then just burn it and release it so that your path forward is less influenced by um, external um, influences and is more in alignment with your core purpose, the thing that you really want to be doing and feel like you should be doing. That is my message for today, y'all. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.